All right, so in this video, we're gonna be installing a oil pan heater on my wife's 2013 Ford Escape with the uh, 1.6 EcoBoost. The part number um, from CATS is 24100. And yeah, it should be a pretty simple process. Um, I'm just gonna show you really where I routed the wiring um, and that type of thing. So, thanks for watching. All right, so the first step is to jack the car up so you can get under it and uh, remove the underbody protection, which is this weird fabric-y um, kind of skid plate thing. Not really skid plate, just I guess blocks debris. But the first step is to remove that. Okay, the next step is to identify the oil pan and um, figure out where you want to route the wire. This is the oil pan. I did imagine it being uh, flat and smooth. Um, so hopefully this, uh, this pad is able to stick well enough once I clean it up. Um, keep in mind when you're routing the wire that you want to keep away from anything hot, anything that's moving. So I'll show you where I ended up placing it and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so I think I figured out how I want to wire it. Um, I'm going to orient the pad with the, uh, the wire coming out facing the front of the vehicle. Um, and that's which way you guys are facing now, obviously. Um, then I'll kind of weave the wiring along this, this plumbing. And then once you get up, so up to sky, see so that gap there. And that will take you... Um, well, I'll show you right where it'll take you. It'll probably be easier to understand. Now it takes you right to the, uh, facing the vehicle, right on the right side of this gap. Um, and that's well, where I will, uh, kind of mount all of my, uh, my warming devices, uh, for this vehicle. And now I'm going to use rubbing alcohol and a rag to uh, wipe down the bo bottom of this. And uh, hopefully we can get this, this pad to stick well. Alright, so I took the backing off. Now I uh, place it on the, the oil pan. And I'm just trying to conform it the best I can to the, the fins that are here. Kind of get the stick as much as possible. It's not ideal, but uh, hopefully it'll do. All right, so now that I have um, the, the cord zip tied off in a couple places, I can, uh, I'm just gonna put the cover back on, the underbody protection, and uh, we should be good to go. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do to my wife's 2013 Ford Escape is add a battery uh, heater. Uh, it's a pad, again made by Cats. It's their uh, yeah battery heating pad. It's only it's their 60 watt one, so it's a little bit lower than the uh, the other one I put on the oil pan, which is 100 watts. Um, their partner was 22400. Um, the only thing tricky about this on the Ford Escape is the fact that you have to remove this giant piece of trim in order to access the, the whole battery uh, which is right there um, and to do that you have to remove the windshield wipers as well so uh, you can find videos how to do that online and it's not too bad okay once you get the uh, the battery out it's really easy uh, the, the biggest issue is just getting to the battery um, all the all the uh, instructions say are to uh, place the heater in the bottom of the, the battery box and um, lead the cord out um, whichever way is more, most convenient for you. Um, I do remember reading at one place um, though that if there is um, vent like fins inside your battery box which this one doesn't really have it's generally flat um, to put down a piece of like aluminum uh, sheet metal just so the battery pad isn't all um, 
contorted around that with the weight of the battery. All right, so I'm just gonna place in the bottom. Just like that. Okay, and while I have the battery all, uh, all open and exposed, I'm gonna install this uh, 1.5 amp uh, battery maintainer. Uh, made by Schumacher got it off Amazon um, and I installed it on my truck it's pretty easy I just got to find somewhere to mount it here's the unit um, the first step is pretty simple I'll just connect these uh, these leads to the respect or uh, respective terminals in the battery red to red black to black obviously um, and do that just by taking these um, these nuts off and sliding the rings over. Okay, so I have the leads of the battery maintainer hooked onto the, uh, the car battery at this point. Now I can uh, reinstall all that trim, and um, then once I have that done, I can start figuring out where I want to mount this. Okay, now that I have everything um, put back in place as far as trim goes, um, I'm going to focus on mounting uh, the battery maintainer. Um, I think I'm going to mount it right to the top of this fuse box. Um, Obviously, I'm going to make sure that it doesn't interfere with anything below, but uh, a couple of shallow screws in the top of this uh, shouldn't be much of an issue. Okay, so I used two 3 8 inch long screws. Uh, it's pretty securely mounted on there. Um, all I have to do next is connect all the cords to this splitter here and mount this somewhere in the vehicle. Okay, so I have I have it kind of secured. I'm not a big fan of where it's at or how it's secured just because there's not a lot of, you know, short of like having to drill into all this and like, you know, build, make a bracket of some sort. Um, this is the best I, best I could think of. Um, I got this wire secured here so it kind of locks it in place. And I have, I'm going through like this this like open bolt thing, this piece of plastic that, that runs through that. Um, I have a, a zip tie going through that. So I'm going to clean up all these um, zip ties, make it look nice. Um, I am going to tape, try to tape close these connections where, uh, where the cords plug into. So when the water gets in there, I am going to put on, I'm going to, uh, I've always my truck I built a little cap out of this um, this ex this ground it's uh, I think it's some the GE makes it some sort of it, it takes the ground and makes it into no ground um, but I, I'm gonna put I'm gonna cut off these prongs put it here to protect these prongs from getting corroded or uh, getting getting messed with in any way um, so I'll do all that and I'll show you what the final product looks like okay so here's the final product I am not very happy with how it looks. It did not come together as nicely as it did in my truck, but um, overall, I should have a pretty watertight system. Here's that little cap I was talking about. Let's see if I can get it off here with one hand. Um, there it is. Um, again, it should be functional. It's not the prettiest thing, but it'll be hidden under the hood. So, in case you, uh, in case you forgot, I have. The battery maintainer hooked into it. I have a battery warming pad, um, which sits under the battery, and I also have an oil uh, an oil pan heater all hooked into one system. So that way, all I have to do is take one extension cord, plug it in, and it should be uh, should be all enough to uh, keep the keep the vehicle starting up in Alaska. So let me know if you guys have any questions, and uh, thanks for watching.